one of two North Carolina teens injured in a weekend shark attack, said he had little warning of what was to come. I didn't see it coming, Hunter Treshel said from his bed at New Hanover Regional Medical Center in Wilmington. I was just in about waist-deep water, playing with my cousin, and felt this kind of hit on my left leg. Like it was a big fish coming near you or something, the 16-year-old said in a series of videos released by the hospital. Then it just kind of hit my arm. That was the first I saw it, when it was biting up my left arm. Two Victims Hunter was one of two teens who lost their arms in the waters off Oak Island on Sunday. His arm was amputated below the shoulder. 13-year-old Kirsten Yao was the first swimmer attacked. She lost her arm at the elbow. The shark also bit our leg. The two attacks took place about 90 minutes apart. Kirsten's parents, Brian and Lori Yoel, said in a statement that their daughter was transferred from New Hanover to N. C. Children's Hospital in Chapel Hill on Monday, where she remains in stable condition and is receiving excellent care. Attacks are rare. To have two shark attacks so close together is extremely rare, one expert said. Having a series of injuries so close to each other in time and space makes this unusual, said George Burgess an ichthyologist and fisheries biologist with the Florida Museum of Natural History. It might suggest a single shark has been involved.